Now, one issue we've probed for a long time on this show is the so-called Me Too movement in our media. Newsreader turned campaigner Tracy Spicer led the charge on this and we've scrutinised her claims and their effectiveness. Is an absolute tsunami of sexual assault, intimidation and abuse, she said. It is absolutely horrific, telling the Daily Telegraph in October 2017. There are 30 to 40 alleged offenders so far, and I would say the vast majority of them would have more than one case against them. Yeah, we've been on this since the show started in 2019 and uh, inspired by the pushback against the notorious Hollywood director Harvey Weinstein, Spicer was on a mission to expose what she believed were the many predators in the Australian entertainment and media industries. She promised big things and she was cheered along by many. Many of the people accused of serial abuse and harassment overseas have been really respected, talented professionals. Have any of the names that have come up in your investigations shocked you? Oh, Patricia, so many of them. A lot of these names are beloved people in Australian media and entertainment history. Yeah, for Tracy Spicer, it meant the reinvention of her career. It earned Spicer much attention and many accolades. Six months ago, when I saw what you were doing with your incredible investigative journalism, I was so impressed. But as former Labor opposition leader, now One Nation, New South Wales politician Mark Latham tweeted in 2018, it's now five months since Dick Tracy said she was going to name and shame 40. Scores of media outlets fell for this hoax. When will they call BS on Spicer fake news? So we assessed Spicer's promises uh, against delivery. But as we reported three months ago, the absolute tsunami was little more than a trickle. The movement's prize scalp was former Nine host Don Burke of Burke's Backyard. There's also actor Craig McLaughlin, who was named last year in a joint Fairfax ABC investigation. And there was actor John Jarrett, accused of raping a woman over 40 years ago, a claim he denied, insisting it was consensual sex. OK, so it ended up in three matters, three men. Now, Don Burke, that never ended up in any criminal prosecution, but the other two were prosecuted in criminal courts. Let's look at what happened. Good evening. Entertainer Craig McLaughlin is free to reclaim his role as the star of the stage and screen after being acquitted of indecently assaulting four of his female co-stars. John Jarrett celebrating after walking from court an innocent man. He told the court it was consensual. The jury agreed, taking less than an hour to acquit him. Both men were grateful to be acquitted, but of course they were understandably disgusted by what amounted to trial by media. Spicer always declined our invitations for an interview, but we're left to wonder what she thinks of all this now, given this is what she told the ABC back in 2017. I'm quite disappointed, actually, with some other media outlets who've decided to go with allegations, seemingly without the evidence behind it, because that feeds into the narrative that it's trial by media. And that is the last thing we want to do. We want to do robust stories that can hold up in court if it does come to that. The last thing we want, Jack, is trial by media. This was all about trial by media, and we see... Uh, really um, incorrect, uh, if you like, wrongful convictions by the media. Yeah, look, I think one of the most disturbing things to come out of that, the, the Craig McLaughlin case and the behind-the-scenes footage of the ABC actively coaching the witness in, into phrasing the allegations in a way that they were, they were predatory and, the, and they, there was a repetition... And, and, and these are words that they're putting in their mouth because they know that they can do a certain headline, they know that they can nuance the story around this, this culture of, of sexual assault and they can get a better story out of it. And this just goes to the point. If, if Tracy Spice's allegations were of that substance, then she, she is out there actively, you know, disparaging people where there's very little evidence against them. I, I think the one thing we can take away from this, though, is... The legal system did work. I mean, it, it took a long time, but at the end of the day, um, the, the court was able to go through it and to dismiss the allegations um, on their merit. And that's, that's the important thing, but not before some in the media were able to completely destroy the reputation of some people. 
And I just, I don't think it's a journalist's job. And I think if you're actively out there seeking to prove a narrative as opposed to looking for what the truth of the matter is, you're going to get in a little bit of trouble with accuracy. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. And I suppose that's the issue here, Sophie, that links it to the Christian Porter case and going back further even to the Cardinal George Pell case. Uh, this is trial by media. Sometimes the media pressure and other factors lead to a trial. But surely uh, no one wants to defend. Everyone wants to see any sexual predators or sexual assaulters prosecuted. But the place for action has to be criminal justice, doesn't it, rather than shaming via the media? Absolutely, Chris. I mean, this trial by media is just... It's awful to watch. Uh, people's livelihoods are being destroyed. Pe people's reputations are being destroyed unnecessarily and by allegations that can't be held up in court. Uh, and as Jack said, the coaching of witnesses in interviews was outrageous. Uh, in the Me Too campaign, we also saw that uh, some alleged victims who... Uh, came forward on the basis that they could remain anonymous had their identities actually revealed in TV programs that aired posts showing who they were. I mean, this whole thing was a disaster from the beginning and a lot of men would have been very worried about it, but it's ended up a, comp a you know, a complete hyped-up uh, situation which has not proved in people being locked behind bars for doing things that they shouldn't have done such, such as sexual abuse.